Hey gang, today we are at the old Wally World, as I like to call it, and we're gonna be doing some Halloween shopping and a haul. I hope I stick to my budget. I have a feeling I'm not going to, but you guys can help me, so come along. It's based off our name. Not that me or Travis need more Halloween anything. <laughs> this guy brings a pumpkin home every single day, it feels like, but I saw online some really cool Walmart exclusive Halloween things that I had to come check out. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and then we'll go back to my place and see everything we got. Uh-oh, already he's finding something. That's so cute. It looks like Dasher. It's like a little bat pillow. What are these? These are $6.98. That's really good. Oh, a little yes. cat, a black cat. I guess they're both $6.98. Some pumpkins. Oh, this is cute. Even some Thanksgiving stuff. You know, sometimes we forget that Thanksgiving is coming too. We have to give thanks for all the pumpkins. They actually have like a lot of harvest stuff. This is really, really cute. Leafy sidewalks, crisp morning air, pumpkin patch farm. That's really cute. Oh yeah, my mom would just eat this up. She would love these to go in her little garden with the psalm on it. Tons of table decor, all different types of flower arrangements. And the prices, you guys. 328, 1088 for those. Oh, these are really cool too. They're like little floral lanterns for 1797. Those would be so pretty on like a little Thanksgiving table. And if you don't want to do dishes on Halloween and Thanksgiving, all the paper products for under $3, your heart could desire. So yeah, huge, huge fall harvesty aisle, but there is an aisle I'm definitely looking for. Oh yeah, we found it. You guys know I love decorating my campsite at Fort Wilderness. Me and my whole family with all these inflatables. They have so many different things. Look at this, Michael Myers, Gizmo from Gremlins, even a little Pennywise. Oh, look at that. Happy Fall Wiener. Get it? Get it? It's a wiener dog. Some bats, some owls, dinosaurs, ghosts, literally everything. Giant jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I like this guy. Oh my gosh, even Jack and Zero. Those are a little bit more pricey because you have to pay the Disney tax. Like the for the Pumpkin King and for sure, yep. And Oogie Boogie, just like on my shirt. And I guess they have a Lord Voldemort blow up. I mean, to me, this just looks like baby Voldemort. That is the cutest Voldemort ever. Like pop of Voldemort. And then, you know, once you're done with the inflatables, why not get a bag full of baby doll parts? <laughs> why not? for $5.98. Who, who, could, who could ever resist? Oh, snap. This. Okay, I gotta put this on. This is a whole vibe. I need it. It reminds me of my glasses I usually wear anyways, but the full steampunk hat. I'm ready for toothsome. It'd be a really fun Halloween costume, I think. This guy is super, super dope, cool. I feel like his lights do something, but for some reason it's not turning on. But I'm so tempted to get him. He's like eight bucks. I feel like I have to get him and bring him home and see what he does. Look at these friends. <laughs> They're like little creepy bears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> evil teddy bear skeleton. Oh yeah, that's a little evil, a little creepy. Play with you, no thank you and all different type of bone daddies over here, but I really love this orange one. It's almost kind of like a velvet, like felt material. That's really cool. That's $15.98. And even more Pumpkin King stuff. Look at this. The 30th anniversary jack for $14.98, little door hanger. And then if you want to step it up a notch, they have these huge skeletons for $29.97. So cool. Oh, that's a look. We got to get this and this, bring it home. That's so cool. And they do have some pricey inflatables. I'll show you their most expensive one. This guy, the towering ghost is $84. He's almost touching the top of Walmart here. So it makes sense why, but I think the most expensive one is definitely right here. It just says spooky Halloween. I don't really recognize any of the characters. They just kind of remind me of like nineties pop art sort of vibe. Oh, uh, we've got some loose wires, some loose cables here. What does this do? Can you do the switch? For 20 bucks, what did you do? Oh, <laughs> that thing is getting a wiggle on it, isn't it? 
All right, let's turn it off, turn it off. It's not working, Travis. Um, excuse me, little girl. That is a very, very dirty teddy bear you're holding. It's it's a little scary. Oh, oh, it, it, it does something. Why do you guys just want me to play with you? No, I do not. Do I want to play with your little bear? Oh, she's tearing the bear head. I didn't realize. That is so creepy. I did not realize she's like tearing the bear head off. Wow, you're terrifying. Snakes, why did it have to be snakes? Oh, that gargoyle is really cool too. I think he just lights up. Yeah, super epic though. I can imagine what that would look like at night. And Travis just knows the way to my heart. Although orange pumpkins are very cool, black pumpkins hit different. <laughs> does this light up? I'm sure it does. Yeah, the little flames on top there for 888. Oh, moving spider. Catch him. He's Sing, gonna fall off. Singing spider fall. <laughs> See, that's a friendly, a friendly spook. I like that. Freak out. <laughs> Travis, you just find the weirdest thing. What is that? Is that Dasher? Look at his little tail. Animated bunny. With a little bone nub. Mm -hmm. Look how cool this is. Press that button. And then it does like a whole scene with crows and lightning. Isn't that really cool? Like as like a print on the wall. And I love the little trick-or-treaters. They're like a little pirate, a witch, and like a little warlock maybe. That's so cool. Can you hear the crows? And there's so many different art projects that I'm like thinking you could do. These little mini pails are only 98 cents. You could like make cool little cauldron, little crafts. We just went to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail and look, I'm seeing him here. It's Sir Henry. He's only 942. That is a heavy duty, like ceramic skeleton for under 10 bucks. He might be coming home with us. And I'm really vibing this like Nintendo style kind of Pac-Man looking decorations. Those are only 597 a piece. You can even have a little eyeball wreath to go with it. And we're gonna just see what else more we can find. Oh my goodness. And the deals are just never, never ending. I don't know if I'm gonna stay under budget. Look at these skull succulents for $5.97 also. They have them in white and black. <gasps> oh no. This is so cool. They're like portraits, Travis. It's you and me for $7.98. Get right out of town. And we're not ready to carve pumpkins yet because we're still in September. We want them to stay fresh here in Florida. So you've got to wait like a week before Halloween, but they've got all the tools here for you to get. And of course, even Halloween costumes. Do you want to be a banana? I know you do. That's actually a really good pirate costume. It's very much so like female Jack Sparrow. So I really like that one. Got to go through Dueling Dragons. <laughs> You're going to bring him with you in Dueling Dragons at HHN, a little dragon angel. Yep. He's like pretty cute. Side. He's pretty cute. And if you're into special effects makeup and dressing up like that, they have literally everything here. This is actually where I got my green hairspray to do my Oogie Boogie Bash where I dressed up as Billie Eilish. It was only $2.48 to get some green hairspray. There's just no way I'm going to stay on budget. I'm just going to have to get a couple things for this trip and then come back later closer to October because I'm already breaking the bank here. Well, I guess I'm not breaking the bank too bad. Everything is so reasonably priced, but that's kind of where they get you. Everything is so reasonably priced that you kind of get everything and then you're like, oh, that's a little higher than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, there's a clown behind me. <laughs> and trust me, that little area was not just all the costumes. This whole row right here is different Halloween costumes. Of course, you got Mando. A little Darth Vader. They're calling this the rake, but I feel like that's pretty much Vecna from Stranger Things. And don't forget, you can trick or treat as Sam himself. How many different Spider-Man costumes <laughs> can there be? So many and Hulk, Captain America. And they really love Nightmare Before Christmas here at Walmart. Look how cute it's Zero is around. with his little pumpkin nose. How much is that going for? 20 bucks. All right, put it in the bag. And when you're trick-or-treating, don't forget all your trick-or-treating buckets, as well as all the candy. Oh, the prices, you guys, just awesome. A whole bag of Witch's Brew Green Kit Kats for 
for $3.96. Oh, this is one of the most beloved Halloween snacks. The Reese's Pumpkin Six Pack for $5.48. They even have it with the white chocolate. That sounds so good. Get out of here. Get out of here, Travis. I'm going to get you with my chainsaw. Is that what people say? <laughs> yeah. I'm they gonna say, get you with my chainsaw. <laughs> That's what I they say in Walmart. That <laughs> this is way cooler than the chainsaw, and it's only $5.57. Do you guys recognize this? It kind of looks like the sword, Jon Snow's sword from Game of Thrones. That is so cool. I seriously want to get this just for, just for my nerdum, not even for Halloween. Dude, your eyes are crazy. Oh no. Wait, do you have low blood sugar? Are you okay? Do you need something? Everyone's shaking. Whoa, Wolfman too. Wolfman also has low blood sugar or he just is the heebie-jeebies. So creepy. Look at all these things, so interactive. Travis, we are not getting mad. No matter how much you love killer clowns, that is so creepy. That's terrifying. And I really am getting excited for the treats over the tricks. All the different Halloween sprinkles. They even have little cupcake toppers. Look at this, you can make a little cupcake in a little cauldron and they have everything that you would want little pumpkin eye stickers for on top of things they have vampire teeth gummies look at this i guess it's like an edible finger no thank you <laughs> edible spiders edible eyeballs more cool little things you could make brownies or like i said the pizza skull out of but what i really like doing every year is like either one of these m m haunted houses or like the Oreo cookie set, but look what they have. They have Mickey and Minnie, like little gingerbread things. I think we have to get this and try to do it at the house later. That's so fun. And for only $1.77, check out these little window clings. I love that they have Grogu. He's trick-or-treating with his little frog friend. These are definitely a little more pricey, but look at these squishies, $27.98. It's so smushy. It's the smushiest pumpkin ever. It's so smushy. We could just squeeze it. It could just hang out in the bed with us. We could call him Pillow the Pumpkin. I love him. And that was just a small amount of what Walmart had here for Halloween. And it's just September. It's not even October yet. They're probably gonna get more shipments in, but we did get some items. So we'll definitely show you when we get back home as well as make those delicious Mickey and Minnie cookies. And I knew we wouldn't be getting out here that easy. Travis had to come check out the dude gear. I'm here for the booze. That's pretty good. As well as I got your back, literally. Literally, he has his back. And don't think your dog will be left out at Walmart either. Milkbone makes spooky little biscuits with Frank's pumpkin ghosts and bats. And look at this. Wouldn't Dasher love this? It's little, mo it says mommy's little pumpkin on it. It's like a little hoodie. They have little bat toys, little pumpkin toys, even some little Halloween mouses for your kittens. The real question is, does Dasher need a brown cowboy hat? I think that he does, how cute. And I wanna show you one more thing before we leave, but it's just gonna be an honorable mention. We're not gonna get it because it's a dessert and we already have our Mickey cookies to make and eat, but look how cool. Look what they got here they have stranger things ice cream the official scoops ahoy ice cream parlor they have a triple decker extravaganza that kind of looks like a birthday cake the mint flare get it like a mind flare this almost is like a strawberry m m's concoction but this is the one that's so weird the void and it's black ice cream i feel like we maybe need to get this because like black ice cream is weird right that's really really weird all right Maybe we'll get this one. Oh, and even a pineapple upside down. That's so funny. We have a very full cart. And so we're gonna go through self-check. Oh, <laughs> I can't even push it. We're gonna go through self-checkout to help these poor Walmart workers. They do not want to scan all of our things. I think we went over the limit. We, we went over the limit. Walmart, you got us again. Right, so before we head home, I had to make a quick stop because right next to Walmart, there's a Chick-fil-A 
And you guys know my new obsession at Chick-fil-A. Ah, here she is, except you guys, I've kind of switched up what I get. So this is still the honey pepper pimento sandwich, but to make it a little healthy because of how much I eat it, I have been getting it on the grilled. And doesn't it look just as good on the grilled? Trav got the OG, let's see it. This is real, now I'm gonna have FOMO. Oh. So Even though good. that looks good. It does I look good. That. Yeah, and giant jalapenos in there. They say that this is just gonna be seasonal and like, so I just have to get it as many times as I can before it goes away. I'm gonna be so sad. I wish it could be regular and stay forever. Mm. It's just so dang good. So the grilled, I do think, tastes pretty, pretty similar. So if you're wanting to have it in a little less calories, definitely try the grilled but it also is way more messy <laughs> because I think the fried chicken sometimes like kind of soaks up all the pimento. Chick-fil-A was insane and so was Walmart. Here's a little sneak peek of one of the things I did buy. You guys, a stitch jack-o'-lantern pumpkin pullover. I could not, could not leave that store without this. And then of it's course- good, It was a good price too. It was only like 11 bucks for that. Literally $11. Which, that, would like, that would be like 50 bucks. Dude. And it's like soft and cozy, like feeling inside too. I cannot believe this. Yeah, this would be like, look, I already got something on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> this would be like uh, 70 bucks yeah. at Disney for sure. Hold on, let me get this off of me. Oh, we got this pre-bake. I mean, I guess that means you don't have to cook them. They're already, or they're already baked. You'll be really good at that. So they're, more of a decorating uh, assortment. So I guess we're but, gonna have a decorating challenge. I yeah, guess. I think we're gonna have a little decorating contest and then we'll show you guys everything else that we bought at Walmart. And you're not gonna believe some of the stuff we got. But first, let's do this. We don't know what's even in here. Okay, it does actually say, pre-baked Mickey chocolate cookies. Is there ready, eight of them? Ready, yeah, I guess so. Ready to use <laughs> icing, icing pen and sprinkles. I'm worried that they're gonna be broken because like in handling, oh, there's the sprinkles. There they, oh, wow. Pretty good packaging. I think at first I did think they were gingerbread, but I guess they're chocolate cookies. That makes a little more sense uh, since it's not like a Christmas thing. And then so there's like eyes and stuff. icing. It looks like we have like, that's the orange, purple. What else? Green and then this icing. We're supposed to use this icing. Ain't no way people did these freehand. I mean, I guess there are some people that are- Look at that like eye, no way. Well, we're gonna try. I thought there was gonna be like maybe big sprinkles or something that you can put. Yeah, just these guys. Or something. It's just like a plethora of different sprinkles, but we're gonna try to make it plethora. look cool. So we'll just leave yeah. that around yeah. for inspiration. I'm very impressed with Walmart that these aren't broken, but I guess we aren't in it yet. Maybe something will happen. I don't know, they seem like pretty or maybe solid that means cookies. That they're just not good cookies. Yeah, maybe that means that they're cookies. not good. So should we do two each? Let's do two each. Let's not do too much pressure. And then I wanna save two of these for something extra special also well, that we got at Walmart. I might be making a Stranger Things ice cream sandwich later. We will see. Okay, and now I think we just go. Dasher's behind us, rooting us on, aren't you, buddy? And so far, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Here's a little sneak peek of mine. It's not done yet. Here's a little sneak peek of Trav's. We still have one more to go. How fun was that? It was fun. I encourage fun. you to get a cookie kit and do it in your kitchen. It was so much fun. As you can see, there's barely any of the sprinkles left and let me show you why. And we need you guys to vote in the comments who won, who won the baking, or not the baking contest, we have to bake it. Who won the decorating contest? Leave that in the comments. Was it me or was it Travis? We won't get offended, but check how cool. They're both so cool. Here's Travis. Would you like to describe your work of art, Travis? Mm. I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. Um, I actually really like your, like, Mickey. He's, like, giving me kind of, like, cool, like, pop century vibes. Looks like more like Five Nights at Freddy's to me. But... <laughs> no, you this did so good. This one was kind of like, I did, like, a cross pattern. Yeah. I, I kind of covered it up too much. You can't really see it. I don't know if you can see, like, the... 
Yeah, it, like a zigzag. Oh, yeah, we see it. The zigzag yeah. kind of underneath a, pattern. A little bit too many of these on here, but. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. Like you can to never have too many sprinkles, and my cookies definitely show that. I tried to do like a little mini. I feel like it looks more like like a like a Shelly May or something. <laughs> Maybe I just should have said it was a Shelly May. The bow turned out really good on her. Yeah. But this one I like. I kind of made like a Halloween wreath. So we're gonna dive cool. in. We're gonna try them. Let's see what they taste like. I don't know which one to eat, one to try. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my Halloween wreath. Which one I'm are you gonna try? I'm assuming they're gonna taste almost exactly the same. I'm assuming they're not gonna taste base. good at all. It was no. more for the fun. <laughs> Things are pretty hard. If you and can you hear know, it. I can hear them. Ears first. Don't forget. <laughs> Sorry. That didn't work for me. Ugh. It's fun to, to decorate them, but they, they taste like trash. Okay. I'm probably They're not. Hard. I'm probably not going to continue to eat this. It's not horrible. I think a kid would like it. It's more of just like a chocolate ginger snap, but like yeah. no flavor, just like a hint of chocolate. And the sprinkles, I don't know. Tastes I mean, like, I'll have another bite. It tastes like stale chocolate to me. Well, but. it's quite hard, but it was not hard to have fun decorating them for sure. Like I said, I did get the Scoops Ahoy, the Void, the chocolate, black ice cream. I think it's chocolate. We're going to find out. I was going to put it in between those cookies, but now since we don't like them, I'm just, I'm just going to try it. Dasher, you thinking you're going to get some ice cream or something, bud? Dasher, who won? Which one? Mommy or daddy? He's like, I don't care. Either. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below, mommy or daddy. <laughs> okay, no, we have to try the Scoops Ahoy, and it is saying what it is on top. It's black vanilla ice cream with a strawberry ribbon and vanilla cream cookie pieces. So it's just vanilla. Oh no. Mm. I hope that this doesn't. It's gonna be some interesting. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I was like, I hope this uh, doesn't look the same Might way coming green. out as it did going Might turn in. green or something. I think it's just gonna be vanilla. Let me try to get a little bit lower because I but see like it, a little chip there. Does it have like okay, a Okay, what if this makes my teeth it? look crazy? Mm. It's yeah, it's probably gonna make your yeah, your mouth whole mouth just turn black. Oh my god. It's delicious. It's literally delicious though. Yum. Okay. I would definitely get this again, especially for under five bucks a pint. I can taste the strawberry now. It's really good. All right, let's show them the goods. Okay, I think to show you guys everything we got, we should do it in like level of importance. So like maybe the cheapest item to the most expensive item or just item we really care about. Obviously the sweater and the cookie thing. And then next they had these like really just cool paper lanterns I bought. I thought it would be really fun to like maybe hang them, like almost make a little Halloween chandelier. And it had like different, different things. I thought that was really cool. I think this was also under $5. I showed you these guys, the Mr. and the Mrs. I could not leave Walmart without these. These were so cool. $7.98 a piece for Kinda these. Kind of like Haunted Mansion yes. vibes. Yes, Haunted Mansion vibes. So, so cool. Such a steal. You know we had to get Sir Henry. I mean, how did we, how could we not get him? He's so cute for nine forty-two. Well, he's not Holding actually a Sir Jack Henry, Leonard. but he looks... Yeah, Similar he looks like it. That's what I told them. <laughs> we showed you guys that we took a risk on this guy. And the reason why we did, he just gave me total Pirates of the Caribbean vibe. And when we camp at Fort Wilderness, we always do a Pirates of the Caribbean site. So I knew he was going to fit in. And I knew if his eyes did something too, that would be an extra bonus. And we finally got him to work. Check this out. <laughs> How cool. I love him and he does the have LED a sensor. Eyes. Yeah, the yeah. LED. He does have a sensor like right here in his nose so you can put him on sensor mode. Um, I love him. And then this was another thing that we actually took a risk on. I really didn't want Travis to because I'm like, he does look cool. He looks like he talks. We were having some fun with him in the store, making him sing songs. But another great, cannot believe that we almost left this because look how cool he is. Oh, you don't look so well. Are you part of the living dead? <laughs> <laughs>
He says like four or five different phrases too. Yeah. Please come closer. I don't bite that much. <laughs> <laughs> He's so evil. And what's really weird is like when he's like moving, I can feel him moving in my hands. And it's got a good volume too, it's pretty loud. Well, are you part of the living dead? <laughs> and then we also added this guy to the pumpkin patch. We don't have too many like black jack o especially ones that light up, so. I think it's the best for last because we already put it up because we couldn't wait to like see it on our wall. So it's already up. We have to go show you over here. A neon pumpkin. Look how cool he is. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> These things are usually sold out like super quick. So we're, we're excited to actually find one. Cause I've never actually found yeah, one. He's gonna look so much cooler at night too. But I was like, he has to be above the kitchen like right on top. I hope you guys really enjoyed this day. We just wanted to do a little Halloween shopping cause it is right around the corner, but definitely leave in the comments below what chocolate cookies were your favorite. Travis or Promise, let us know. And as always, peace, love, positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys, bye.